Hey there! Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. So I've seen a lot of people ask, how do I get started with acrylic pour painting? And so I thought I'd do a quick bit, little video about, first of all, what supplies you're going to need. So this will be real short, and I'm just going to quickly list what supplies you need just to kind of get started. And you really don't need to spend a bunch of money. I a lot of these things I just purchased at the dollar store. So yeah, you know, use your dollar store. So um, so yeah, I'll just real quick, I'm gonna scoot you down so you guys can see what, what I've got for supplies. And I'll talk real quickly about what, what you're seeing here and then we'll sign off. So, okay. So let's see, first off, you're going to need paint. I like to use, it's, it's an acrylic pour project, right? So you're gonna want acrylic paint. And this is just a sampling of various colors of acrylic paint. And this brand is um, Artist's Loft Acrylics. And these I bought at um, a craft store. I go to Michael's, so that's where I went. But um, you can probably go to any craft store. And this box, this set of um, 12 different colors, it was about eight bucks after a coupon, so watch for the coupons. So that's the first thing you're gonna need. You'll need some stir sticks, and you can get a pack of, boy, I think probably a hundred of these at the dollar store for a buck. You're going to need um, something to protect your workspace. And so all I use are these, you know, uh, black garbage bags, and I got a box of those for a buck at the dollar store. Um, you're going to need some cups to mix your paints and also to support your canvas. Um, and then of course to pour your paint. Again, a buck at the dollar store. There were, let's see how many in here. Uh, six, well, I guess right there, 16, 16 cups for a buck. That should do ya. Um, of course you're gonna, going to need a canvas and you can, actually I've seen canvases, like a set of two cheapo canvases at the dollar store for a buck. Or you can go to um, like a craft store, such as Michael's, and get uh, buy them in bulk. And Michael's has sales often, so watch for those sales. And this is just a, a level one um, Artist Loft Acrylics uh, canvas. And then you're going to need something to catch your paint in. It, it, you, you don't have to have this because you could simply work on a garbage bag surface, but for me, it's, it's just nice to have that. And I bought this uh, cookie sheet for a buck and then this roasting pan for a buck. And I like to, personally, you don't have to do this, but personally, I like to use both because this uh, roasting pan has these uh, raised sections in there and I like to start with a level canvas when I work, so I like to have this um, cookie sheet in place. And then what all I do is I put the cookie sheet inside the uh, roasting pan and sort of press down to flatten out those those raised areas on the cook on the in the roasting pan. And then you'll need to have some flow troll. Most people use flow troll. Some people add other ingredients, but if you're just wanting to try it and see how it works, I would definitely start with just flow troll. And I apologize, my flow troll bottle is pretty beat up, but <laughs> this is my flow troll bottle. And I got this at a home improvement store. I went to Home Depot. I think it cost um, maybe seven bucks for um, a quart. And that should get you through, well, probably three or four pours, if not more. And you can see that I've got <laughs> I've got something odd on here. I've got an old um, uh, piece of nylon pantyhose uh, secured to the top of it to sort of filter it when I pour it, and that's optional. But if you get a little further along into pouring, you might find that that's helpful. I just rubber banded that around, and then um, gloves, and then gloves. Those are also optional, but. Uh, yeah, you can, um, I went, I think you can go to Amazon and get like a box of a hundred for maybe nine bucks. So yeah, so all of these supplies, I think I, if I did the math right, <laughs> maybe 29 bucks, 30 bucks. 
we'll get you started. And then also optional, if you want to, if you find that you're enjoying it and you want to look, dig a little deeper into it, you can pick up a torch. And I got that at, um, at, at a, like a big box store. I went actually went to Bed Bath & Beyond and got that for maybe, you know, that might've been 15 to 20 bucks. So if you want to invest a little bit more into it, you could do that. But yeah, those are basically all the supplies that you need to get started. So um, I hope this is helpful, you guys. And uh, let me know if there's any questions you have, anything that um, you think that you've seen other people use and you wonder if you really have to have it, let me know. I'll try to address your question. Otherwise, um, appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And I will talk, see you next time. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.